Jay Peak Resort up for auction today and after six years of trying to sell, no word yet on who the highest bidder is. And they have 30 days after they win to make themselves known to the public. NBC 5's John Hawks spent the day in the Northeast Kingdom talking to people about what this sale will mean for their community. At least three potential buyers in a closed Jay Peak room. They had a long Wednesday bidding in an auction to take on the resort. Pacific Group Resorts is one seat at the table and the only company to put out a public bid of $58 million at the beginning of August. They run resorts around the country, and one ski industry podcaster has a lot to say about what's at stake. They also run a mountain in New England, Ragged Mountain, and Ragged Mountain, I'll tell you, is very well regarded by its past holders and by locals, and the way that they have turned that mountain around over the past 15, 17 years that they've owned it uh, has been very impressive. Depending on who buys it, the mountain experience could change. Bigger companies may be showing interest. Seven other mountains in Vermont are owned by big ski area companies. We've seen how that can change the character of a mountain for better or worse. And some of that is subjective, uh, but when it comes to issues like particular past products, driving more people and compromising the ski experience or even the commuting experience of getting to the mountain by packing too many people in, we, we've seen that these mountains can be mismanaged. The community is looking to move past this stage of unknown and are excited to see what new owners will bring, but still weary of the change. This isn't about money. This is about keeping it as close to the way it is as we've been able to love it. So it's just all up in the air right now. And I'm so happy to see Vermont and Jay Peak and the ski community move past this and go into a new era where we're not looking back at what went wrong at Jay, but we're looking forward to how can we make this the best Jay possible. And Jay, John Hawks, NBC5 News.